Once again, happy fiesta. Actually, I opted to read the long version, which was actually, or where, the Gospels of Friday and Saturday. No? Gibahin. But then, the shorter version, I just actually put aside, nga naman, mubo ramanggod, ganahan jogo o ganang madugay-dugay gila tong misa. It's a test of patience anyway. No, no, I'm just joking. Now, I read the, the longer version because it captures practically everything we can talk about the family. No, naadid to ang holy family, first of all. No? Uh, are you familiar, especially the young ones, do you still hear people saying, Sus Mar Yusef? And do you know what Sus Mar Yusef is? It's Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. No, give the shortcut na na. Sus Mar Yusef. Pero na usay mahimo na na siyang expression bang na kuyawan. Sus Mar Yusef is not supposed to be something like that, no? Anyway, there is a proper feast for the Holy Family. In the Almanac, it is always February 27. Muna nga, kung ang mga tao ga, ma, 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 mahimugso gani kag uh, February 27, niya atagan kag ngalan, there is a very beautiful combination of it. Dili Isus Mar Yusef, ha? Kung dili, Jojemar. Joseph, Jesus, Mary. Nakailan mo kung sa katao or somebody who has, who has the name Jojemar? Oh, it's not election time anyway, but, but there is a person who, whose name is Jojemar. No? But what is so significant of the presence of the Holy Family here? It's not only them. There was also Simeon and Anna, both elders. No? So when we talk about families, there are always elders, there are always young people. But the most beautiful thing about what a family is, you should notice this. Ang unang tao nga mention diha sa family in the word family is F, which is father. No? Naagyod sa unagyod kay mo may haligi. Unya, ang nagsunod ana is mother. Father and mother. These are the three letters of the word family. And following the mother is I, kita, the children. But it's not the, the common, it's the individual. That's why I or individual. And this is actually a very beautiful situationer when we try to take a look about the family that through the Holy Family, through the Son of God who became one like us who lived, who was born into a family and who lived in a family, we always find the beauty of God's providence, the protection that He gives by giving us our fathers and our mothers, of course. And our response to this father, that the presence of the father and mother is always an expression of I love you, which is I-L-Y. No? So, F-A-M, father and mother, I-L-Y, I love you. So, let's make a little exercise. Look at your sides. But just say, I love you. No? There is always a good reason for saying love. Dili na ingon nga, ay si Padre ka baduy. Baduy, di ay nang ingon ka si imong mama o papa nga, I love you. Dili oy. It should come from the heart and it is the very essence of today's feast. No? Gipahiluna yun diha sa pamilya. Diha sa maong wanang diin makita ang atuang presensya. Because even our own fathers and our own mothers, they also are children. No? So it's actually, it goes on and on, down the line and uh, up, upwards in the family tree and go down the line through history. Bisan gani sa ato ang experiences in the communities, no? We always have elders. And so this is the very beautiful essence of today's celebration. And what is so significant even more is, towards the end of today's gospel reading, 
there is put a particular setting where the Lord Jesus would be living, although we do not have details of this in the Bible. Muna giingon nga, the hidden life of Jesus. No? Sometimes my student would say, Padre, unsa may naagid sa hidden life ni Jesus? Kabalo mo sa akong tubag, easy ra kayo. I won't tell you because if I tell you, it will never be a hidden life anymore. But what is this hidden life, hidden life in Jesus? This is something that we too have to discover. Because if he lived in the family with Joseph and Mary, just like a typical family, we do have all our own experiences. So possibly we can connect with so many different angles and dimensions. Og unsa may nahitabo nato, of course there are always exceptions, no? It also happened to the Lord Jesus because he was just practically like us. So giunsa nato pagtubo sa atong pamilya, giunsa nato pagtubo sa atong kaugalingong hawanan, sa atong kaugalingong panahon na ay dimension nga mo connect because the Lord Jesus became man like us in order to understand us. And that's the reason why it's not difficult to call him, to pray to him. Because even before we say something about what we feel or what we're experiencing, he knows our ins and outs. He became one like us. He grew up. He struggled. No? But anyway, I will break my code of saying I'm not telling you something about his hidden life. Because there are practically... Many beautiful stories about Jesus when he was a child. He was already struggling with the, the great power within him. No, di panahon gani nga kuan naguol siya. No, because as a human being, magol. And then it just came to him para balingaw siya. He took a lump of soil and then he molded it and then blew on it and it became a bird. Gino o good siya pod. Diba? So there are so many things that we can also imagine. But then, stop over-imagining things. What is so important are the concrete experiences that we have, that we have gathered, that we have, that we have in our lives, including even some bad ones. Because it makes us even more human than we might have expected of us. And this is the very pathway and the very you know, environment that also Jesus lived. Only then when he came out as an adult to start his ministry that we know about him. But before he did that, he stayed in Nazareth. And final point for today's gospel reading and for today's celebration is, nga nung sa Nazareth mang ning puyo ang ginoo, together with his father, foster father and Mama Mary. Actually, kinsa mang dito ga Nazareth? It is Mary. Mary is a native of Nazareth. Nazareth nun siya. Because Joseph belonged to the family of David and his town is Bethlehem. Although he was already somewhere, he went to Nazareth to be a, to be a carpenter, to be an artisan. Dili lang siya panday ha? Artisan. Artisan is more than, more than just a carpenter. But the significance of Nazareth where Jesus grew up in a hidden life is precisely because when he comes out into the open to become, to, to preach and to start his ministry, he will be recognized as Jesus of Nazareth or the Nazarean, which in Spanish we receive through the word Nazareno. And in a few weeks, in a few days' time, Sa Manila, sa Quiapo, magpista na sila sa Nazareno before we have our own Senor Santo Nino, our Sinolog, our Pit Senor. No? So this significance of the meaning of Jesus of Nazareth or the Nazarene is precisely based on the name of the place, Nazareth. But what is its meaning? Nazareth means branch, sanga, which is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah that a sprout or a branch will spring out from the stump of Jesse. No? The prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1. And the, mean, and the other meaning of Nazareth is to guard, to keep, and to watch. 
which actually now emphasizes the role of St. Joseph, the foster father of the Son of God, who guarded him, who watched over him, and who kept him always, you know, uh, under his surveillance or his auspices. And he even learned the craftsmanship of being a, an artisan. So si Jesus, sa wala pa siya mo himo sa iyang ministry, he already knew how to, to make a table, to make a chair, and then to build a house, of course, because he lived in the way that human beings actually are doing. That's why he is both God and man. And so as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, let it be something that draws us closer. No? Dili something uh, we just imagine or we just take it like a gisulti mana, no? But it is something that we can embrace in our lives precisely because what we are and who we are, Jesus can very well identify with us. He who has grown in the holy family of Nazareth, of Jesus, of, of him, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And so with that, we constantly thank the Lord, like the second reading today, to sing hymns and thanksgiving and praise and prayer because God, who is our Father, is precisely the very reason why there is a family in the first place. And do not forget that. In the family, father and mother, I love you. Amen. <laughs>